Today we open up once again the beautiful theology of Mother Teresa in Marian Consecration. St. Louis de Montfort, he taught us about how our prayers when given to Mary are all the more beautiful that we should be her servant as we seek to serve Jesus because she always brings us to him. Mass Man Colby spoke of the union of Mary and the Holy Spirit, the created Immaculate Conception allows us to have the power of the uncreated Immaculate Conception, the Holy Spirit, how close their union was. Mary, or Mother Teresa, speaks about Mary in a different way. She speaks about him in a personal relationship, that there is a union between us and her. And so Mother Teresa's prayers are beautiful. Um, and so she says this, Lend me your heart. That's what Mother Teresa says. Not just make my works better, not just introduce me to the Holy Spirit, but Mother Teresa says to Mary, lend me your heart. Now, what do we take from this? Can Mary physically give us the organ of her heart? No. But the heart is that inner place of dwelling with God. 1 Corinthians 6 tells us that we are a temple of the Holy Spirit. And so in this place, Mary can give us this very unique relationship with Jesus, a very profound way in which coming to know him and to have this. Mary had an undivided heart. How often are our hearts divided? Don't we know the good that we want to do? Even maybe during this consecration, haven't we desired to give ourselves completely to Jesus through Mary, but we found ourselves to be too tired, too busy. Or maybe we've chosen sin. When we ask Mary to lend us her heart, we're saying, help me to have that indwelling of the Spirit to be overshadowed, that you can live and love in and through me to love your son in an undivided way, an immaculate way. Such a beautiful prayer. Mary, lend me your heart. And she can. She can give us that strength. And so we want to run to her. How today do we notice our heart being divided? And can we pray that prayer? Lend me your heart. So we can be at the foot of the cross with Mary. It's a simple prayer. But it's a deep prayer because of how closely that relationship is. How much did Mary love Jesus? And how will that change our actions this day? Let's continue our practice of giving an intention to Jesus through Mary and then noticing the blessings of our day, the blessing that we receive from Jesus through our mother. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.